Mischief and Mayhem in the AM continues right now with your Kiss and Tell segment and your global warming. Trying to uh, time to dish the dirt on your favorite celebrities and see what's eating up the planet in 60 seconds or less. All brought to you, of course, by Naughty Johnny's. Well, weather trip out there to the Old Fort Chopper Plaza Monday through Saturday. But wait a minute, Monday through Friday, great for lunch and dinner. Then on the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, great for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And you know, they got a different special daily during that uh, Monday through Friday run during the lunch special. You know, they got a different special daily Monday through Friday. Give them a call, see what they got chefed up for you today. 377-7776. All right, well, where the trip out there to the Old Fort Chopper Plaza, remember I tell you that, all right? All good. All G W O D good. Now, here's the deal. Let's jump on in and see what we're starting with. Uh, we got a lot to talk about. All right, Charlie Crist, the former Miss uh, USA and correspondent, uh, sorry, Chelsea Crist, uh, Chesley, sorry, Chesley Crist, the former Miss USA and correspondent for Extra, jumped to her death from a building in Manhattan. She was 30. Now, we talked about this yesterday. Initial reports is suicide. But now, you know, I've heard some other extenuating circumstances coming out of this, so we're going to keep an eye on it because people always have their conspiracy theories. But as of now, it has been ruled a suicide. West Side Story, and a very sad, tragic situation right there. Uh, another testimony that, that the mental health is real, mental health issues are real. People need to address them more seriously. West Side Story star Kyle Allen is set to play He-Man in an upcoming Netflix live action film. Oh, Lord. Why are they doing He-Man like that? The Santa Claus star Elizabeth Mitchell will reprise her role for as Mrs. Claus for the new Disney Plus series. Hargus Pig Robbins, a pianist for George Jones, Patsy Klein, Bob Dylan, and others, has died at 84. Canada's Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has tested positive for COVID. Why are you running competition with our Prime Minister? Wow! He says he feels fine and will continue working remotely. I'm just letting you know, though, Trudeau. Brave had COVID before you. <laughs> RPM is A. RPM is much more on the ball than you, my brother. I just want to let you know that. Tom Brady may have decided to retire, but he's not sure. Well, he may have decided to retire, but he's sure not about to announce it and make it official until after February 4th when his 15 million signing bonus is to be paid. That is why everybody went crazy the other day saying he had retired. If he had announced the retirement now, that would have all gone away. So he's going to stick around and on the 5th of February, like at 12.01 a.m., he's going to re retire and he'll get that 15 million. Nick Cannon now is expecting an eighth child with his fifth baby mama. Gotta admire Nick's consistency. Wow. And productivity, too. Yeah, man, that's quite productive right there. Eight kids. Uh, Troy Aikman could have broadcast his final game with Joe Buck on Fox on Sunday and his current contract ends and his rumors uh, have it that Amazon would like to nab him to help with the Thursday night football games starting next season. All Thursday night games will be on Amazon Prime. NBC will air a one-hour special celebrating Betty White, America's Golden Girl, Monday night at 10 p.m. That's Monday coming. And finally, uh, Apple Music is trolling Spotify by referring to itself as home of Neil Young. Oh, God. That's a wrap right there on your Kiss and Tell segment and your Global Warming. All brought to you, of course, by Naughty Johnny's. Well worth the trip out there to the Old Fort Shopping Plaza. Let me go to the phone lines, see if I got myself a winner for this mind-bending brain teaser. Anybody feeling lucky? Anybody figure it out yet? What is it that 35% of Bahamian men out of 100 surveyed would rather go to, like, rather, you know, like, go through the rigors of this in life would rather go through all of this hardship than to have their cell phone lost or or fall into the wrong hands. Kiss 96, good morning. Good morning, Audi. What's happening? Everything's left, everything's left. I see you thumping everybody. What you got this morning for me, man? Is it a lion court? Man, look here, now I stomp you too. Join the club. Think about it, call me back up a good one. <laughs> Kiss 96, good morning. Are you out of debt or, or go missing, man? That's drastic, okay? And I can think, I can tell you you're the 1% of that 100 billion men surveyed that said that, okay? You're the only one. Don't go out like that, brother. There's other options, okay? You can change your identity or something. Don't do not do yourself in just for the cell phone. Property. 
of you have a good day too and be safe all right and don't lose that cell phone dear god anywho anyhow you know what you got you got between now and the bottom of the news and the nine o'clock hour to get at me to get that answer in i dug in the crates one more again you remember this one here comes prize 8 45 a.m is the time this mischief and mayhem in the a.m press box sports report all brought to you of course by rev trio and the nba package from cable bahamas is on the way don't touch it I can't stand to see you treated bad Sport I need one. to make sure my Kiss FM.